Hi, good morning. We are at the beautiful Sequoia Park in Canton, Georgia. This is a great park that offers walking trails, playgrounds, softball fields, and baseball fields. Hi everyone, it's Mr. Dave here. I'm at Sequoia Park with Miss Amy. This place is awesome because it has a disc golf course spread out throughout the entire park. Let's do this. Let's do a warm up. Let's jog on these cool trails. You can jog at home, you can walk in place, or you can just move your arms while sitting down. And then we'll check out the disc golf course a little bit later. That was a great warm up everyone. Now let's talk a little bit about disc golf. Disc golf is played just like ball golf except you use a frisbee or a disc. Your object is to try to throw your disc and make it land inside the basket. It's a lot of fun to play this game at Sequoia Park. Miss Amy, you want to give it a try? Absolutely Coach Dave, I love playing disc golf. Next we're going to show you some really ways to play disc golf at your house. This is how you do the basic grip for the backhand throw. Place your thumb on top of the frisbee like mine. Curl your index finger around the edge of the frisbee. And all of your other fingers curl under the bottom of the frisbee, just like mine. This is what your body should look like when performing the basic backhand throw. Position your body so that the shoulder of your arm holding the frisbee is facing your target. Keep your eyes focused on your target. Bring your arm holding the frisbee across your body and curl your wrist. Finally, quickly extend your arm toward your target. Snap your wrist as you release the frisbee. Try to keep the frisbee nice and flat. Imagine a glass of water balanced on top of the frisbee. If you're playing inside today, that is totally fine, but you're going to ask a parent or a guardian to help you find a big empty space because you don't want to break anything inside your home. Also, you probably don't want to use a frisbee or a flying disc inside your home, but you can make your own. I made this one out of two big socks and I made it nice and flat. It's not going to fly as good as a frisbee, but you can still use the right technique. And remember, that technique is to put your thumb on the top, your finger on the side, and your other fingers on the bottom. And you're going to use that same technique when you throw. In just one second, Miss Amy's going to show you how to play this first activity. 
So there's a couple of things that you need to be able to play disc golf in your house. First thing you're going to need, you're going to need a box, and this is going to serve as your disc golf basket. You're going to need a marker, and the marker is where you're going to start your first throw from, and then you're going to need your sock frisbee. And that's what we're going to use instead of a real frisbee because we want to stay safe in the house. Okay, so I'm going to take my marker spot and I'm going to put it on the ground. This is where I'm going to start play from. I'm going to take my, my basket, my box, and I'm going to put it a good distance away to make it challenging. I'm going to use the sock frisbee to throw into the basket. I'm starting at my marker. I'm going to turn sideways like Coach Dave showed you. I've got my fingers on the bottom, my thumb on the top. Stand sideways. I'm going to point at my target. So let's see how many times it takes, how many throws it takes me to get it into the box. That was one. Stand right where it landed. Two shots. The cool thing about playing disc golf in your house is that you can change up the golf course as much as you want to make it more challenging. Check this out. I have the disc box here. This is my target, but my starting place is way over here. So I'm going to have to make probably quite a few throws to get from that spot to my box. Okay. One of the most important things though, remember, is to make certain you have a parent or guardian help you make your disc golf course in your house so you don't break anything. Check this out. I'm at my starting spot. There's one throw. There's two throws. Three. That hole took me three times, or three throws, to make it go in. Have fun. If you want, you can even play with a family member and have your own golf tournament in your house. Mr. Dave, you did a great job, but did you know you can also play this game sitting down? I've angled my chair, so I'm sideways. I'm going to hold the sock frisbee the exact same way, my thumb on the top, fingers on the bottom. I'm going to move my arm across the body to my target. Here I go. Let's see how many I can get.